Hi there Aquarius, how are you guys doing? I really hope that this reading finds you well. Welcome to your end of February 2019 reading. Back with me again, Anissa from The Inner Stereo. And as usual, this is going to be your relationship spread. Breathe Aquarius, breathe. It's going to be your relationship spread, meaning that you could always apply this with anyone in your life. It could be with your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, exes, crushes, fiance, family members, anyone. I am basically just going to be picking up your relationship energy in general, all right? And don't forget to also check your sun, moon, or Venus sign, because I tend to realize that with my readings, I resonate much, much more with my Venus sign rather than my sun sign, all right? But if it doesn't resonate, then it doesn't resonate. Never try to force a reading. There's so many amazing, talented tarot out there for you to just click and watch, all right? Okay, so let's do this. Your overall energy for the now, you have the Knight of Wands, you have the Queen of Swords, and also you have the Strength card. When we're talking about a matter of the heart, when we're talking about how emotionally available or vulnerable you guys are, I don't think you're that way. You're freezing it over, you know what I mean? And it's not a bad thing, because Queen of Swords is always our primal self-defense mechanism to completely shut off especially if in the past we've been hurt either with the person that we're dealing with in the now or either from our way back past relationship that was toxic for us this is our self-defense mechanism to completely shut down our emotions to be really really skeptic to have a trust issues to basically numbing ourselves down you know what i mean i kind of like relate to this because i do have venus and aquarius so i know what i'm talking about so Right now, you're kind of like relying much more on your swords. Right now, you're kind of like um, taking away the responsibilities that you once felt to be doing in this relationship. And instead of doing so, you just want to be like the knight of wands. Somebody who kind of like comes and goes, somebody who is only, you know, on the surface level. So if you're still communicating with the, your partner, you just want to, you know, basically have fun and no, no emotional talk, just talk, you know, as usual. Although even if you're talking with one another, it's like sometimes you grow resentful. It's some, yeah, sometimes you grow resentful in yourself. You've been exercising like a lot of your patients and not just blow up in their face. So it's a pretty tough emotion to feel it's pretty heavy you know what i mean because usually the combinations of fire and air is a good thing but here the air is not really a positive air because the air right now is just you completely blocking off your emotions and also sometimes you just kind of like want to shout at their face but it's like no i don't think i want to do it because if i do it it makes me exposing myself it makes me be vulnerable and if I'm vulnerable, what if that person is saying something that will hurt me more rather than make me feel good about myself? You know what I mean? So yeah, what is the overall challenge of this relationship? You have the Four of Wands and also the King of Swords. So that feeling is actually quite mutual. You have the King of Swords and Queen of Swords both together in a relationship. The person that you were dealing with also feels the same way as you. You don't feel any type of stabilities when it comes to this relationship. You know, in a relationship, you just want to feel like home. There's a sense of familiarity every time you guys meet together. It's always happy. Like you, you kind of like felt welcome at home. You don't feel like this relationship is just stable enough. And the person that you're dealing with, and now this person is pretty resentful too. You know what I mean? It's like they are writing down everything that you said to them too in their little book here could be a literal book or their mental note but it's like both of you are having a trip down to memory lane memory lane to the bad memories instead of reliving the sweet memories although even if you guys are still interacting with one another although everything is fine just one tiny bit of a trigger that makes you remember something that is that pissed you off so bad something that you were never able to communicate it just makes you shut down again yeah, too much card i just want one by one so they have the high priestess in reverse and also the magician so if you're dealing with one person So if you were only dealing with one person, uh, okay, wait a second. Yeah. 
So if you're only dealing with one person, this person still did in the past wanting to manifest something with you. They still, you know, do you know that song King of Anything by Sarah Burrells? So it's like they still put your name with caps in their plans. But I don't think it's something that you were interested in. It could be the reason. If you're only dealing with one person, all right? It's not two people. One person scenario first. If you're only dealing with one person, the reason why you didn't want to take that giant leap of faith, it could be because the reason number one, probably, is because you find them a bit immoral. Like your moral principal or principalities, your standard are not really the same in one another. Your expectations is different. Your goals is different in this relationship. Or because you felt like they're still uh, exploring their sexualities. Because that's high priestess in reverse too. But you didn't want to take that giant leap of faith. You didn't want to go to that agreement that they are actually proposing to you. Did it make you feel sad? It did. But also at the same time, you kind of like felt relief because that's kind of like the thing that you've been wanting to do for quite a while. All right. From your partner's side or from the cross watcher side, this person actually still does want to manifest something again with you, growth again, something with you. Yes, it does. But then you also realize that this person already have a fixed assumption when it comes to you. It's an extreme emotions. So it's no longer great. You know what I mean? So it could be they could be extremely hateful towards you, extremely resentful towards you, or extremely loving you. So their feeling is always on their extreme. And then something here that you don't agree with and you felt like in the past you really, really want to show your teeth or you want to raise your voice. Although it hurt, you think that it's for the best. Let's see. Um, I mean, in the present moment. By the way, I'm Indonesian, so if I talk something that not English, it means that I am talking Indonesian. Okay? Now they have the three of cups in reverse, so they feel like the friendship aspect of the relationship is no longer there. Usually in the past, you guys are able to share secrets like best friend would, respecting one another as a best friend. You always have like this non-verbal cues, you always are in sync, but they kind of like felt that it's kind of like quite gone. You're distancing yourself away from the situations a bit because you are kind of like contemplating about what is it that you want to do within this relationship. Like, I don't want to drag anyone, but right now they have the King of Cups in reverse and also the Three of Cups in reverse. So, for some Aquarius out there, I'm not going to generalize everybody, okay? But for some Aquarius out there, you could also be dealing with a third party situations in which, even if that happens, it's no longer surprising to you. You have the Temperance card here. It no longer hurts you, it no longer surprises you to some, okay? It's not everybody, please. But just to, I think, majority of Aquarius, you're just dealing with somebody who is emotionally unavailable with you. You have the King of Cups in reverse in here. The King of Cups in reverse also talks about emotional manipulation at its finest. But I don't think it also will bother you that much as well. Because right now you're meditating, staying away from the situations as much as you could because you're contemplating what is it that you want to do with you. Especially after the full moon. We already passed the full moon. I feel like you would find much more clarity because you have the Empress card in here. I should have uploaded this video before the full moon because then I would highly suggest you to go out there and bathe yourself in the light of the moon because I feel it's gonna make you feel like a lot better like your skin is gonna glow you would have like this feminine energy all right and it's not gender specific but it's just going to make you feel kind of like you it's gonna make you much more attractive towards you know your potential or your other suitors even if they're doing emotional manipulations with you, I don't think it would bother you that much. Like trying to make you jealous, trying to get a reaction, so like an emotional reaction out of you. It never bothers you. But in the end, it's going great though, um, Aquarius, because here's the thing, both of you are obsessed with one another. 
they're very, very obsessed with you. It's like every time they try to walk away from you, they just couldn't because not only do they like the friendship aspect the way that I said before, they also like the emotional aspect. They feel safe, home, secure, stable for here. Okay, not only do they feel that way, but they also like the physical aspect of the relationship. It's either they feel like the sex with you is really good or they just like how you physically look or the smell of your skin, the touch of your this and that, the way that you kiss. There's something about this physical aspect that makes them kind of like quite drawn to you. All right, so both of you are actually obsessing with one another, but I feel like they, their obsessions, even in the future, are much more like Mars thing, of one thing to own, of one thing to have, much more like this. And, I, and you always know this every time they're like that, because it makes you feel beautiful, it makes you feel kind of like wanted every time they show their obsessions with you. So I think in the future it's gonna go really, really great though. Because based off of their obsessions towards you, they are going to kind of like wanting to step up a, get a bit and then offer you that this 10 of pentacles, something that is much more stable, something that is much more solidified, okay, with the 10 of pentacles in here. And I feel like it's something that you're really, really ready for because you are the queen of pentacles. So you want a relationship that is long term. You don't want to play no more. You don't want like a situationship and everything like that. You just want something that is good for you which is something that you're going to get and something that they're going to be offering to you here okay so now let's talk about the scenario if you're dealing with two people if you're only dealing with one person your reading was done like a few seconds ago but if you're dealing with two people here's the thing i feel like in the past you guys are so much focusing on yourself nobody else okay you do have somebody who would want to explore their sexuality with you you do but you're not taking that giant leap of faith with them you do have somebody who wants to basically create something with you making you as a part of their master plan and everything like that you're not interested you just want to be with you you just want to be you know calm zen calma one you you know you have the emperor card there because i feel like you want to accelerate your life even faster in the now, same. You know what I mean? In the now, same. And these people that you kind of like quite rejecting here, they're kind of like quite a bit sad, especially uh, person A. Person A is kind of like feeling as if like they lost a friend and also a lover at the same time because they like the friendship aspect that both of you have already built. And then person B, we have somebody who just kind of like quite emotionally closed off. Although you're kind of like, well, maybe I could try something with them. Maybe I could. Like that person in the past seemed nice. You know, person B was somebody who was trying to build like a plan with you and everything like that. But you kind of like bailed out a bit here. Person B now is emotionally shutting off. They're hurt. In the now, you guys are well, maybe I should give it a try, but you're kind of like contemplating here in the in the in the now. In the future, I feel like you're going to get, uh, take a little bit of an action towards person B because you're going to be the queen of pentacles. So it's like showing, look, like, do you still want this? And they're like, kill ya. Okay. <laughs> do you still want this? And you guys are like, hell yeah. I think person A is somebody who you had like a long 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 history with you know what i mean and then this person is going to be the devil card so meaning that i mean the devil card in this particular deck of mine i have a bit of different meaning attached to it but the devil card is much more about they're going to be kind of like communicating how much they're obsessed with you how their obsessions is they're probably going to come back around to you for a little bit of a sexual escapade or just touching you and everything like that something that just makes you suddenly open up i mean you really like that aspect from them too you know what i mean so that feeling is mutual you like it when they touch you you like it when they kiss you you just like that physical aspect it's something that makes you both addicted to one another it just makes you open up but i feel like when it comes to relationship when it comes to something that is solid, I think you're going to be choosing person B rather than person A because person A, the relationship with person A is just like a turbulence, like an emotional roller coaster. Okay, because the, the feelings are always so extreme. It's like one day you could be extremely loving and you felt like a goddess, and the other day you feel like shit or you feel so disappointed and upset, like why, why, why? The, the, it's always so turbulence. 
Okay, so I think when it comes to relationship and something that is much solid, you're going to be ending up with person B. Okay? So I think that's it for your end of February reading, Aquarius. I'll see you guys next week for your March reading. I hope you have a great week ahead. Bye-bye.